Whatever. Hello! Give us a minute. <laughs> we are reconfiguring, readjusting. Rebuffering. Exactly. Um, the hat suddenly came out with I forgot to pack the hat. I should have packed the hat. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, I don't have anything that's similar. Oh, yes, you do. Do you want that? Mm hmm. Let's do it. <laughs> oh boy, right there. <laughs> oh my. Welcome to the latest annual <laughs> news for the week ending June 19th, 2022. Um, that was a perfect shot right there with the, the water bottle. There we go. <laughs> my head above the water bottle. There's nothing wrong with that. Perfect. Perfect. Um, all right, let's let's see what we can do here. Um, all right. The news is better with Gloomy Bear. Exactly. The naughty grizzly. <laughs> I mean, here we go. Um, so let us start with, I mean, Char, the Red <laughs> Comet, one of the most iconic characters in anime, certainly in Gundam. And so, of course, McDonald's is honoring Char with a char themed menu um six exclusive menu items at mcdonald's japan starting uh june 22nd a couple days from now um four burgers a carbonated mcfizz drink and a mcfloat all char themed um you have the new type white triple cheeseburger um three layers of meat because you know three times faster right got it got it yep. got it yep. Um, uh, uh, the spicy double cheeseburger, which was a uh, last year uh, a limited uh, time thing, the red garlic teriyaki burger, hmm. actual, um, and the double chicken I sausage like muffin. Trial. Exactly, <laughs> and the double chicken sausage muffin only in the mornings. The McFizz drink and the float items have a red energy flavor. Ooh. <laughs> um, as a nod to Shar's nickname as the Red Comet. Define red energy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, mean? man. I don't know. It's it's Shar the Red McFizz. Exactly. It that. tastes like red. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like red, and the burgers taste like death. Yay! <laughs> I mean, not inaccurate, I'm sure. Um, the limited edition packaging cups with you know Zaku on it, all that kind of good stuff. Um, also, um, uh, if you purchase item from the menu, you get access to an AR quiz of which Gundam character you are, because that's hard to find. Uh, yeah. you, you know, it, I couldn't find that <laughs> online if I wanted to. But the thing is, they've got over a hundred individuals loaded into this quiz. Oh so if you God. want to know if you're Kai Shiden, you can. It's great. <laughs> um, you're the Gundam tech mech <laughs> <laughs> in episode 128. Um, uh -huh. Exactly. Uh -huh. um, no end date announced, um, but the packaging will run through July 26th, or as long as surprise lasts. Here's the thing. I'm not surprised. Right? Yeah. Like, Gundam theme <coughs> thing, <laughs> fine. Just these sure hold them. <laughs> like, hey! Like, oh, are you shilling this hard? How much money is McDonald's paying you people? Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, boy. Um, I, would, I would love to know where the money flows on that. Like, did McDonald's license... McDonald's can't have licensed Sean. Bandai must have reached out. And they're paying for McDonald's money. The McGundam's so big. I could yeah. see Bandai sitting back and being like, okay, hi, you know, we're KFC. We want to do something mm. with, you know... Char's fried chicken legs. No. Um, <laughs> hi, we're Burger King. We want to do something with him as a, as a, as a Whopper. You know? yeah. And then McDonald's shows up, and they're like, yeah, I can. Sure, we'll do that. Yeah. Long John Silver's uh, missed the boat on that one. It's true. Absolutely. We want to do Char Char's magic treasure chest. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> so you have the red lobsters. Right, red lobster. Yeah, you could do that. Char's red zaku. Yeah. Just had I just had a vision of like Char as a bull with like 
<laughs> Monster claws. <laughs> I would just like to see it with the red lobster with a bib. <laughs> the claw crackers and a bib. It's Shar's red lobster. Die. Oh my god, Lord. You can eat it three times faster than your normal lobster. <laughs> oh no, he's jumping. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, well, I was the last thing I was going to say. Is what? <laughs> they tried to run that, but then somebody who's deep, deep into character development with Gundam came, for, came forward and said, Shar has a seafood allergy. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> oh, darn it. Darn it. Um, moving on from old anime to new anime. Um, so, um, this year in Kyoto, um, a portion of the city will be recreating Yoshiwara in Toei Kyoto Studio Park. So literally, they are going to recreate a chunk of Demon Slayer, it's the entertainment district, in Kyoto. Damn. Yeah. Mm. Um, there'll be a photo spot, obviously, um, uh, and exclusive goods <laughs> available, surprisingly enough. Mm-hmm. Um, Limited edition, get your lottery tickets now. Mm-hmm. The Arashiyama line will also have brand new faceplates, each of the characters' faces from the visual. So you can imagine a train coming at you with a Demon Slayer character's face on it, just kind of barreling right at you. It'll be fun. There's going to be so many tourists in my <laughs> trains. <laughs> you just get the picture. Ah! <laughs> um, so also... apparently the Mugen train money has gone to things. Yes, exactly. <laughs> apparently. Um, they're also going to hand out um, uh, hand fans with the characters on them. Um... Uh, not only for tourists, but also geisha. So they're going to like find the various geisha walking around and like <laughs> say here, walk around with Demon Slayer fans, like literally the physical fans. Um, so you can see Demon Slayer stuff. I don't know. It's very <laughs> odd. Um, now, is that something geisha are allowed to do? Yeah, why not? I thought they they were like very specifically they could only like go from their boarding house to like the, the spot that they had mm. to do the job and they, no, they couldn't be seen. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, that, that's all been, um, <laughs> they're not slaves anymore. <laughs> I just oh. got to say it that way. Um, what was it, wait, uh, there yeah, was no, two no, seasons ago, the mm. Maiko house? Oh, yeah, yeah. Where it's like the little girl who mm-hmm. she and her friend yeah. go and the friend cooks and then the mm-hmm. other girl's a Maiko. Mm-hmm. And it's just like they still are putting out that same kind of knowledge where it's like, oh, no, oh. no, they just... They cannot show up oh, out of okay. uniform. They have yeah. if they're going to go on like a shopping day, mm-hmm. they have to do it at the end of their rotation because their hairdos must oh, always be kept yeah. so that they can only go oh. on a shopping day in normal clothing because okay. then they can put their hair down okay. and they won't be identified. I may be wrong then. So, yeah, interesting. I'm just I'm and really curious if it's, they're giving them out. They, yeah. they must have changed. Oh. Either that or like they made arrangements with the various people to say, you know, here you go, right, you know. Hi, we would like to hire some irrigation. Hold these. <laughs> we like that. We like that. We like that. Hire a geisha to hold Demon Slayer uh, fans. Excuse me. No, no, no. What we mean is, no hold them. We would like them to grip them tightly <laughs> to make sure that they they are shown around town with us. What are we asking exactly? What I want to know is where are their union reps. Exactly. Yes. Um, so that is a thing that's going to happen. Um, obviously, no photos that I can find or anything. That would that's that's what I'm curious about. Like how yeah. how far are they going? That looks pretty cool. Now you said the district. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, gosh, how the hell are they building stuff onto? I'm assuming they're redressing, basically. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I doubt they'd spend a lot of money. Like, okay, let's just resurface this entire area. Like, yeah, tear down that place. Tear down that place. <laughs> like, look, we're taking it all down. We're making Geisha Land. Come on, <laughs> yeah. let's go. Let's, let's. Excuse me. What? Well, it makes me <laughs> wonder about. You can now, mind you, the, the logistics of it are still mm. horrible. Mm-hmm. But if you've ever seen them resurfacing a building, like power washing a building, mm-hmm. and they'll put yeah. scaffolding up, and they'll be yeah. scrim, mm-hmm. and particularly in Europe, the ones I've seen. The scrim will be a will be the perfect picture of that thing. Mm. So if it's like, oh, it's this you know five hundred year old castle and yeah. they're redoing this, mm-hmm. it's a picture that is like the perfect picture of that mm-hmm. on the scrim. So that yep. if you're a tourist and you're a thousand feet away from it, it's like, mm-hmm. oh look, yeah, and it looks about right, yeah, yeah. And it's like, 
you could resurface an entire place by doing that. Just Which scrim it and be like, oh yeah, yeah here's the district. Now let's roll those up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can imagine it. Um, money. Oh, who makes the yeah, yeah. money? Yeah. Demon Slayer made some money. I don't know if you all heard. Yeah, a couple bucks. Um, speaking of kind of uh, um, physical areas, your World Cosplay Summit announced uh, this past week. Um, it's going to hold an, an event for Ghibli Cosplay to select Ghibli Anime Cosplay inside the Ghibli Park on August 7th. Oh, wow. So imagine having a Ghibli Cosplay outfit and being able to wear that outfit Right? Like, uh, in an environment that looks exactly like the anime. Imagine being Howl the castle. Yeah. Um, ten groups of cosplayers can walk down the runway while cosplaying these characters in 2D Ghibli anime. We'll be on a special stage of the Galaxy Platform of Oasis 21. Um, so that is pretty darn cool. Um, and as a reminder, Ghibli Park does not really officially open until November 1st. So you're getting exclusive access to the park as well. Um, World Cosmic Summit, Summit was last year, August 7th through 8th. So, that's pretty <laughs> awesome. Yeah, Adam Savage will show up in his no face cosplay, I'm sure. If he could, he would. If he could, he would. Um, moving on to laid back camp news. Um, so, the sequel anime film will be launching in Japan July 1st. They have set up a pop up kitchen car um, detailed with laid back camp uh, decals traveling through the country. Selling, of course, exclusively um, uh, branded drinks um, while stopping off at various malls. Um, it has this lovely brown and white laid back camp sort of uh, logo style. It looks like a super. Nice. Yeah. Very uh, Volkswagen y. Uh, well, the, the, the blended pieces in the front, that's a Citroën. Mm -hmm. It's a what? It's a French. It's a Citroën. Oh, a Citroën. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, what the heck? Is, is that the back of it? Yeah, that's the back of it. Uh, which is interesting because it looks like the, 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 the characters in, uh, in um, uh, their high school days. But anyway, um, so it will go uh, th from Hokkaido down to Minobu Yamanashi, the setting of the Layback Camp series, uh, from June 19th to July 18th, stopping at various malls and such. And they'll be selling, um, let's see here, what do we got? Um, uh, the various drink drinks and goes, yeah, <laughs> um, long life juices. Um, and like an apple soda, and then the cool one of the really cool things they have um, six little coasters, like you know cork coasters in like jigsaw puzzle shapes. You can all fit together into a cube. Oh neat! So that's a really cool idea. Want. I know. I, I I want them all. Damn it! Um, so when's so, that going to be in the DC uh, Baltimore <laughs> Roanoke area? Exactly. So Fairfax is coming in when? Um, mm -hmm. So, yes. <coughs> there is also a synopsis of the TV anime film. If you are curious, um, I am not going to reveal that. If you all want to um, stay spoiler free before that happens, um, everyone dies. Uh, <laughs> on Mount Everest, next, yeah. next to Green oh, Boots. No. <laughs> it's a flashback from when they're like 150 to. Yeah. Like <laughs> they're all gone now, but let's look back at their lives. Well, they are all grown up now. So. Mm. I know the little standee that I have on the mm. Nashco, she's like 18 or something like mm. that. It's just kind of like. <laughs> I know I should be happier about that, but they're just mm. so fun as like tweeners doing this. Mm. Well, the wean can drive, so. Yeah, they're, 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 they're all high school. Enough. Oh. Yeah, school. Yeah, yeah. So that's um, But, getting older might be on getting older. That's not fair. Damn it. Who doesn't want to smell like Spy Family? Uh. <laughs> yes. Yes, exactly. What? Exactly, that was, yes. That was exactly. what I asked of, of Chanel mm -hmm. and all of the big parfumeries of, of Perry. Yes. Why can I not smell like Spy Family? Exactly. Um, the Show Pro Mall online store in Japan has released a new line of flower scent diffusers that are themed around the three main characters of Spy Family. Um, so you've got Lloyd's version featuring um, a green dahlia flowers, the English words for dignity and elegance. Um, yours is love and beauty with a, a red rose scent, naturally. 
and uh, Anya is honesty and innocence with yellow anemone flowers. Sure. I'll be honest that I can't even think I've ever smelled them then. Exactly. You know. On sale, while supplies last, um, about 40 bucks each. Yeah. But they're wow. flowers. You get your flowers. And it, it's a you know, little like vase with, with the, and the, like silk flowers on there, you know, diffuser thing. A little diffuser space. Yeah. It's, it's nice. Like, it's generally pretty. Hmm. I don't know. I'm I mean, having a hard Axe time. Body spray works much better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like trying to figure out how a non-anime person mm. is going to gift that to another person. Hi, you get to smell like a ten-year-old <laughs> telepathic girl. <laughs> what's, and what's that smell like? <laughs> Promise and, well, hope that, and winning. John and Chad is right. It should smell like peanuts. Yes. It totally missed the opportunity. It's got to be peanuts. It's <laughs> peanuts. Come on. Cookie peanut butter cookies or something? Gosh. Oh, that's just Anya. That's just Anya doing her thing. Um, and let's move on to some sort of general... Um, Lloyd's is Excuse very me. subtle, almost kind of creepy, yeah. creeping, hidden mm -hmm. You don't lose it until last minute. Exactly. And then it kills you. Yeah, it murders you. <laughs> Um, let's talk about my favorite segment in the show, new anime announcements. No. Um, Variety has announced a new Astro Boy series, um, 3D CG, um, reboot, directed by Thomas Astruc, creator of uh, Ladybug, uh, Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir, oh. um, produced by Shibuya Productions, uh, and Media One's Method Animation. Um, they have acquired the rights, clearly. Um, 52 half hour episodes. So, full hmm. full thing. Wow. Yeah. Um, and the plan is to go kind of modern. They're going to talk about the internet, social media, environmental damage. I mean, that's not pretty modern. That was a thing in the last but still. Um, and they're going to try to have a pool of animators from around the world um, Japanese animators, French animators, all sorts of stuff. So, okay. here's my, my pitch, my ideal. Space Dandy, right? Make every episode have its own staff, its own approach, tell its own little Astro Boy story. Oh. I would love that. Don't try to make it cohesive. Try to make it everyone's own take on Astro Boy. Hmm. I'd love that. I don't know. Well, for as many different teams, I mean, yeah. I mean yeah. why not? <clears throat> 52 episodes five teams, each team yeah. gets ten episodes? Yeah. Or something equivalent? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Who knows? Um, so yeah. how, how many new Astro Boys does that make in the, in the, in the, in the 2000s now? Three. There's the 2003 TV series, the anime film, the CGI film, and then this Not one, this. right? Was there anything else? Well, I mean, yeah, like, yeah the uh, Star Wars thing, which had kind of an Astro Boy-ish character. But, okay. Um, yeah, I, can't, I, think that, I think that's it. Astro Boy just keeps on giving. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's, it's been around a while. Um, the, um, the One Punch Man film is coming. Yay! Directed by Justin Lin of The Fast and the Furious. Uh, huh? I'm not sure if that's a... Genius or not? Well, I mean the. I mean, oh God, what is Vin Diesel plays dude. One Punch Man? <laughs> of course, Vin Diesel, <coughs> Vin Diesel is One Punch Man. Saitama. His Vin Diesel is Saitama. Oh, I, I mean, Saitama doesn't really have much of a range of character, but that's still Again, more than Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel <laughs> is Saitama. <laughs> oh, and I love Vin Diesel. I, you know, I, I. I have a <clears throat> great love of the man, um, but I mean, it is kind of a match made in heaven. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I totally respect him for exactly the roles that he plays yes. well. <laughs> exactly, yes. Um, I, I, I w would wonder what kind of range he, he'd be mm -hmm. able to bring, because, you know, again, Saitama has a different personality than anything Vin Diesel has ever presented. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, not, he's less meat-heady and more just kind of bland. Mm -hmm. So, you know, again, uh, you know, so, 
Um, and um, Avi Arad is producing. Um, so, I mean, they've done all sorts of things. Um, who knows? Who knows? But, you know, why not? We'll see. Does it go Boogan Train or does it go uh, Lone Ranger? Let's just yeah. see. Yeah. Let's <laughs> see. <laughs> or Dragon Ball Evolution. Oh, yeah. God. So, <laughs> uh, uh, mm-hmm. um, that action goes to the shell? Mm-hmm. Um, now, here is the big exciting news of the week. Trigun is back. There is going to be a new Trigun anime by the studio behind Beastars and Land of the Lustrous. Nice. Oh! Oh, yes. Oh, nice. Yes. Visually, it better not disappoint the hell out of me. Oh, I, I mean, I have expectations from Land of the Lustrous and Beastars. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I mean, I am so looking forward to this. Um, they're going to simulcast it in, quote, more than 200 countries and territories around the world, end quote. So they, they know. <laughs> we know everybody's waiting for it. Yep, exactly. And to be clear, Trigon was not a huge hit in Japan. Um, right. A much, a much bigger hit internationally. So this is kind of a, we're making this for the world, really, <laughs> not so much domestically. Um, well, we know it was Adult Swim. We put it on repeatedly. So it's yeah, just keep exactly. going and going. So you could run. I think that's how I got to liking Cowboy Bebop. Mm-hmm. It wasn't that I sat down and watched it contiguously and been like, yeah. oh, from start to finish, it was great. No, I saw so many bits and pieces of it over time, mm-hmm. like Inuyasha. Like, yeah. I watched that. Right. Like, yeah. Attention, mm-hmm. Where I watched so many bits of it, and like, I got to loving it because I just kept seeing it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, mm-hmm. now I know where I'm going with yeah. this. There we go. Um, so, yes, um, uh, various folks involved in the production here. Um, a uh, they created a Twitter account, six million bounty. Nice reference. Um, and um, yes, it is um, it is coming back. Um, to uh, Captain Lizard's point in chat, the manga is quite different from the anime. Um, yes, goes on in a very different direction. Like he was, I wouldn't say he barely started it when the anime came out, but there was a lot more to the plot, and he went in a different direction with some of the characters and so on and so on. Um, and so yes, there's there, there's a lot there's a lot to, to go to with Trigun. So please don't please work don't please listen. work. Don't um, in fairness, like I would, I can't think of an anime studio I trust more than Studio Orange at this point. Yeah, <clears throat> you know, like they've just hit it out of the park every single time. Yeah, so. Don't choke, don't choke, don't choke. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Science Saru Woo-hoo. is back with uh, Naoko Yamada's new original anime, Garden of Remembrance, um, uh, announced on Wednesday. Um, the key visual just shows a um, watercolor of flowers and like an anime hand painting those flowers, which is quite interesting. Uh, original character designer by um, uh, Etsuko Mitsuzawa of Hello, This is Turumi. You've heard of that. Um, so, looking forward to that. Science Zaro is always interesting, always doing something new and unusual. So, looking forward to that. Um, the theme of the anime is described as, quote, Someone is thinking of someone, where is the heart's destination? End quote. So, I'm, I'm assuming it's Mecha. Maybe it's a Yaoi Mecha. Yeah, Yaoi Mecha. Um, if it was huh. Yaoi, 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 Yaoi. Nah. I'm trying to think. Uh, I mean, you know, Yaoi Play Mecha. Play more the Mecha. <laughs> Yaoi Mecha, a.k.a. Gundam Wing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but let's just be honest. I think it has to be short enough. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, let's see here. Um, My Home Hero is getting a TV anime adaptation. Um, this is a, about a salary man who has a reliable wife, daughter, um, until one day he finds out that a bad thing has happened to his family. And we have sort of a taken situation going on. Uh, so, mm-hmm. yes. Um, one of those. <laughs> oh, we'll see where that one goes. Uh, we're definitely curious. Um, also, anime coming for the manga uh, St. Cecilia and Pastor Lawrence, which I thought for a moment was a Spice and Wolf thing, but is not. Yeah. Um, um, Kodansha describes it as follows. 
St. Cecilia is beloved by the townspeople. Not only is she elegant and composed, she benevolently shares her wisdom with all who seek it. That is, until the last person has left, at which point she becomes totally hopeless. Only Pastor Lawrence is keeping the saint to get put, to get put together enough to do her duties, and though she may test him, it's all in a day's work. I'm assuming it's an Umaru-chan kind of a thing. Um, that she's just kind of, you know. I thought you were going to go with like, and then at the at the end of the day, she turns around and runs the brothel. <laughs> well, if everybody leaves. It was a terrible brothel. <laughs> I read that manga. Um, <laughs> it's called the species reviewers. Yeah. <laughs> um, Yuka Yamada, uh, Miss Kobashi's Dragon Maid, is in charge of series competition. So Ooh. hopefully we'll get something along those lines. Uh, uh, director by Sumie Noro of Sleepy Princess and Demon Castle. Yeah, hmm. so good show. names there. Uh, let's see here. Um, also, Otaku Elf is getting an anime adaptation. Um, um, uh, and I've actually read a bit of this manga. Um, it basically, cute. It, it's, it's very cute. Um, basically, you have the very responsible Miko. Yeah. A very responsible shrine maiden who works at a shrine, and then one day the goddess of the shrine appears and is a beautiful blonde haired elf lady. Okay. Sure. Um, who turns out is a lazy otaku who just wants to spend all her day playing video games and reading manga. And so the very responsible shrine maiden has to like, pull her out to actually do her duties and actually, you know do all this stuff. So it's okay. very much that sort of yin-yang kind of a storyline there. Um, uh, the the trailer calls it something like a um, like a laid-back comedy. It's like a slice of life comedy. Okay. It's nothing serious, nothing, you know, it's just opposites attracting almost kind of a thing, you know, of, of that kind of thing. It's, it's fun. Very cute. Um, it makes me vaguely think of what it was, Gabriel Dropout, mm. where the angel Gabriel descends to Earth, and she's supposed to be the, the best and the biggest of the angels and everything more. And she ends up like a school kid, mm -hmm. and she doesn't want to do anything. Uh, she just yeah. sways around, and people are like, You're Gabriel. It's like, I don't care. <laughs> okay, yeah, um, cute comedy. Lady. What was the one from like the 90s of the two superhero girls who are like aliens from another world? They've come here to save the world, but all they do is like shop. And eat, eat at McDonald's. Um, it's not Mole Diver. Um, it's oh gosh, it's going to annoy me for a while. Um, the only thing that comes to mind. Are yeah. I don't want. I, <laughs> well, it, just because I don't want to like mess up what you're thinking. No, go go for it. Oh, no, no. Um, it's it's a it's a comedy. It's like an OVA, um, like two episodes of comedy or something. Somebody in chat will remember it. Um, again. Um, yeah, two cute teenage girls, and there's like a very responsible teenage guy who's trying to convince them to save the world when, <laughs> you know, giant monsters attack and you know, one of those classic things of like they're eating a burger and drinking drinking a drink while Godzilla is rampaging through the town, right? <laughs> that kind of idea. Um, anyway. Save us someone. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Shamrock shake those big carrots. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> um, uh, Murai in Love, uh, also getting an anime. Um, uh, main character is Morai, a high school boy, who confesses his love to his teacher. Oh, because that always win ends well. Yep, exactly. Um, it can. Boom, bow, bow. Um, thankfully, she refuses his advances. Um, oh. He then returns the next day, and turns out she's a she's a fan of Otome games. Oh no! And so he shows up cosplaying as her favorite character. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> and she's like, <clears throat> basically. So I don't, I don't know where it's going. I'm not I, I'm uh, not advocating, but that is the, that concept. So Who this knows? is coming after we had the Otome game anime this past season. Mm hmm So. Yep. Interesting. Very interesting. So, so we're, we're, we're highlighting on that one. So. Exactly. Um, uh, Mina no Tomio chan manga series, getting an anime adaptation um, called 500 Million Year Button, Sotosugahara's Short Shorts. Um, I'll be honest, I have no idea what's going on with, with this manga. Um, there's a button that grants a million yen to whoever pushes it, with the condition that they must spend 500 million years alone in an empty space. 
But at the end of that 500 million years, they loses that memory and return to the point in time when they push the button. So what's... Do they uh, still keep the yen, or...? I, I assume so. Um, a person with this button appears in front of a 5-year-old, a 14-year-old, and a 17-year-old, who all need money to pay for their father's hospital treatment. I, uh, I, I, again, I, I have no clue. I have no sense. I don't... <laughs> Okay. 500, 500, how long? 500, 500 million years. 500 million years, and then you go back to the well, point where yeah. where you press the button, mm -hmm. yeah. and you have no memory. No memory of it, yeah. So, so <clears throat> I would love to see this happen. <laughs> One million yen? Okay, I'll spend 500 years, uh, 500 million years in the nuts, in the void, going insane, bink, and then you come back and you go, oh, I don't remember anything. Hey, I can get a million dollars if I spend another 500. <laughs> okay, here we go, bing, and just goes and goes Probably. and goes. <laughs> Apparently, like this was a, a manga series from 1999, um, and it's become sort of a philosophical, you know, discussion point in Japan. Yeah. Folks have sort of chatted, okay, would you do it? Would you not do it? What does it matter? All that kind of stuff. So it has become kind of a meme, if you will. Well, maybe not a meme, but a discussion topic in Japan. So, right. okay. as I, say, I could see it as a as a thought experiment. I yeah. Guess. Yeah. To be like, you know, what 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 are the moral and ethical issues of like mm -hmm. your own choices. Yeah. Like, and and I, ethical because if you spend five hundred million years, nobody right. knows you reset, it doesn't really affect anything. And I guess having children be involved. You know, a five year old I can imagine a five year old being sure. Yeah. Right. Not, not thinking it through. Right. So I I don't know. I, okay. Whatever. And then at the end of the five hundred million years before they press the button before they come back, introduce it to them. Exactly. <laughs> There's nothing left. <clears throat> Watch the rise and fall of civilization thousands of times. <laughs> it's well. This is how the Matrix started. Okay. Pretty much. Yes. Um, not exactly new anime announcement, but Mononoke is getting a um, two uh, a film in 2023 and a stage play. Yep. Um, the film will be a completely new work in the Modern OK series, so a new anime, but oh. still. Um, Kenji Nakamura will return to direct the film. Um, yeah, so 15th anniversary Modern OK thing, which is pretty cool. So the play, I actually got this on my phone. Ooh. So the play has two casts, oh. and they're going to do, on, and it's on Hulu, I think. Mm -hmm. So you can pay for it on Hulu. And so one cast is going to do one performance, the other cast is going to do the other performance. Wow, interesting. So, you know, I, the only reason why I know this is I have a sister-in-law out in Alaska who's big on this stuff. Ah. And so, you know, I just sent the link to her. But, you know, it was, I was like looking at that, I'm like going, am I going to spend the money? Am I going to spend the money? It's like the Genshin question. Mm -hmm. Am I going to spend the money? What kind of payoff am I going to have mm -hmm. for this? Mm -hmm. Satisfaction, Steve. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Um, uh, new information about Gundam The Witch from Mercury. So those curious, go out and, and check it out. Um, there, it, it looks like it's basically set at a school. Um, and the main character is a girl um, at the school. Um, a second year student in the piloting department. Uh, who transferred to the school from Mercury. So it, it is literally, she's from the planet Mercury. Um, Coming in somewhat lacking communication skills. Boy, that's a new one for Gundam. Um, <laughs> no, she's on the spectrum? That's a new concept. Crazy, crazy. Uh, well, she's cousins with, you know, some other more famous getting slapped people. Perhaps. I mean. <laughs> uh, also some line art for the for the Becca, which looked pretty darn cool. Um, and then various other characters involved in, um, um, mm. in there. It looks pretty fun. Um, um, Hiroshi Kobayashi of uh, Kiznaiver and Sprigan. Oh. Yeah. We'll be directing the anime at Bandai Namco slash Sunrise with the co-director Rio Ando who did interviews with Monster Girls. Yes. Yeah. Like, yes. Like, that is a tone I would love to see this take. Well, did you see Kiznaiver by any chance? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I watched it. I watched the mm -hmm. whole thing from front to mm -hmm. from front to back, and I was just like, I didn't like it. Okay. <laughs> I was like, right, fair enough. Fair I've enough. done this show. I'm just like, I don't really. It 
reminded me of Darling the Franks in some some mm. of the color schematics okay. and like kind of the action mm -hmm. movements of the characters in general. Mm -hmm. And just I I I couldn't get behind it. Okay. Sure. I mean, it was interesting conceptually, uh, the idea of being like linked with other people's minds yeah. and, and issues going on there. Um, but I just, I couldn't get behind it. So I, it's interesting that they're attached in this. It's mm -hmm. like, okay, I wonder what you're bringing to that. Yeah. And I've not seen Spring Um Scriptwriter Ichiro Okuchi of Code Geass. Oh, wow. Ooh. Princess Principal in Skate the Infinity. <coughs> oh, okay. <laughs> There's a mixture. Wow. Curious. Curious. A um, bunch of character designers, a bunch of mecha designers, as usual. But uh, very curious. This is, and I, I appreciate, and I think I saw the, the Crunchyroll announcement. It was, it was, um, oh, it was a comic book review um, did a thing on this, and I appreciate that they, they pointed out that there have been female mecha pilot sort of main characters in Gundam in the past. But this is the first, you know, female pilot central character all the way through thing. So like right. you know, double O eighty has a female pilot. Um uh gonna uh gonna build fighters try has a you know one of the three is a girl. So you know, they've gone in this direction, but this is the first <coughs> the girl right. is the main character, I would say just to okay. More focus on her and less on just her passing through the season. Exactly. Yes. Um, the, the boys don't come in and take over, basically, from her. Um, more information on the Gekigen and Kataro exhibit uh, coming up. Um, this will be a, the first large scale exhibit uh, of Shigeru Mizuki's work, um, mm. which will be for Mizuki's 100th birthday celebration. Um, it'll be a Tokyo City View, uh, the 52nd, 52nd floor of the Roppongi Hills Mori Tower in Tokyo. There'll be bronze statues inspired by the yokai statues that line the um, Sakaminato the street. street. Yeah. yeah, the, the street. Uh, windows are drawn with lanterns bearing the names of various yokai. And we're talking a ton of lanterns. Yeah, uh, yokai illustrations will be displayed. There'll be an AR camera for a street museum sightseeing experience. <coughs> um, taking, photo, taking photos with five yokai that are hidden in the exhibit hall, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then there'll be uh, five chapters in the exhibition um, about the life of Mizuki, um, uh, stuff along those lines. And uh, of course, of course, there will be stuff. Uh, yokai themed food, a dessert <laughs> menu for various things. Um, I want to go. I know, I do too. Um, <laughs> so it's very fun and whimsical, the, the stuff they've done with the, uh, the stuff there. Yeah, Momizuki. Good stuff. Um, get ready to cry. Um, 20th anniversary exhibit and concert for Nodam Kadabil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there'll be an art exhibit and a music concert. Uh, October 28th for the concert. Um, the research, research assistant on the manga, orchestral conductor Daisuke Mogi, will supervise the concert. Um, the core members of Nodam, the Nodam Orchestra which performed for the series, will be also be in the orchestra for this. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, so that is pretty darn cool. Um, if you're interested in more of that stuff. Uh, also, a Kaguya-sama Love is War um, exhibition in Tokyo this August. So looking for some stuff in um, um, there, a bunch of art and stuff. Uh-oh, Steve's so got a thing. Was that costumes too? Yeah, that? looks like um, um, outfits, um, uh, costumes from the live action movie. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then finally, um, GK has acquired the, the rights to Eva 3.0 1.01. Oh wow! Got it. For theatrical release. Oh. So oh, yeah. Oh. If you oh. want to go see Shinobun Galleon. In theaters, oh god, later this year. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, boy, I don't know. <laughs> Can they put it on the IMAX? Oh my oh, god, no. it just explode my mouth. <laughs> oh my god, you just see that on the IMAX, all the other time, are just like, yeah, the theatrical home video and electronic sell through rights. 
the Titans by the time. <sighs> then they'll do a home video release at a, at a later date. So, yeah. For the love of Ghibli. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, would you... Would, would, seriously, like, you know, would you do it? Would you see that movie again in theaters? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Caveat. Mm. I would. Mm. But I don't want to see it in the small art theater uh, or yeah, the yeah. larger theater mm-hmm. that's all, you know, old. Yeah. On a, you know, <laughs> 98 mm-hmm. by, you know, mm-hmm. 86 screen. I want to see it. I'm actually plumbing. Yeah. <laughs> but I want to see all the like main movie mm-hmm. yeah. Huge right. on there. And yeah. Just be like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Have that 2001 Space Odyssey. <laughs> yeah. And here's the thing. I would not want to see that um, virginally. Right? Um, if I had, having seen it before, I will see it in theaters. If I had not seen it before, and they're like, we want to see it in theaters, I'm like, no. I don't know what's coming. I don't know what they're going to do to me. I I, 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 you know, I don't want them to melt my brain. Hi, Stranger on the Street. On. Come and see this. Yes, exactly. yeah. 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 It's a laugh, Ryan. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, exactly. Have fun. Um, and, and Dude, even, but, even knowing Eva, if you don't know what's going to happen in that movie, yeah, who knows? Yeah. You know? Well, but you see, you see. be like Clockwork Orange. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> open, like, oh, oh. Pretty much. But, but you see, I actually, John, I actually have a decent chance of that happening on the main screen at the mm. Center Theater because they do that. That's yeah. where I saw Paprika before lockdown mm. um, on you know on the big screen, like the really big main screen. Yep. Yeah, so like if they do that at the Senator, little screen, you know, it's like it was still cool. But, yeah, yeah, but this would just be like you, you you walk out and like the people who don't know Ava and watch this will probably just go. You know, blood, a little bit of blood's coming out of your eyes and ears. They're like concussed almost, yeah. and you know, you're just like you'll have to be the one telling it's okay, it's okay, it's well, okay, it'll be fine. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll get you some Twizzlers and Diet Coke. Come on, it's okay, it's okay. Imagine seeing this, having not seen any Eva before. <laughs> just, no context, no nothing, just some pilot kids on the screen. Okay, you, I'll, you'll you'll be able to see the silhouettes of the heads just going. What? I don't. Can you tell me what's going on in this film? I don't no. understand what's going on in this film. No, I get No. <laughs> My so, nephew said I, I needed to watch this, and I I don't get it. <laughs> Neither does anyone. I it's okay. I can't see Legally Blonde. I thought this was Pixar. I don't. What? This Come on, kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a cartoon. It's Frozen. It's not. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, that would be a, a, a you know. Um, I can't wait for the for the uh, I can't wait for the Karens to complain about this movie and that its impact on the children they brought in to, to watch it. Oh dear. How many kids do you have? I have three. So which impact got you the most? The second oh. impact or the third impact? <laughs> oh, you horrible monster! That film was terrible. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh yes. Did did you like the, you know, scenes with Naked Ray? I mean, was was that good for you? Uh, anyway, um, so much will have to be explained to little Johnny afterwards <laughs> in therapy. <laughs> it was time for that meme where the kid like is with his mom or something. He goes, "What's that over there?" And you see like the movie screen with Eva playing, and it's like <laughs> anime. Oh no, Johnny! No, don't ruin your life. <laughs> oh god! Exactly. Avert your eyes. Avert your eyes. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is the news. 